Hi, my name is Kukuli Velarde and I want to invite you to uh, my talk I will be giving at a ceramics school. I hope uh, you can be there and we can have a conversation. Uh, my talk is going to be about my work, uh, how, how I began and um, how it has been for me uh, to be an artist, uh, an artist of color in, in the United States. Uh, doing the kind of work I do. Um, I hope that you will be there and that you will me you will ask questions and that we can get to know each other a little better. Uh, hope to see you then. Bye bye. Hi, my name is Chandra Debuse and in this video I'm going to be hand building a boat tray using soft porcelain slabs. A boat tray is a form with a curved bottom and vertical walls. It has texture on the outside and decoration on the outside and the inside using fine line underglaze inlay, brushwork, and translucent glazes to create a sense of depth at cone six. Minasan, konnichiwa. Watashi wa Nihon no Tougei ka no Takeuchi Shingo desu. Konkai wa kouyu marui katachi no sakuhin o I am ceramist Shingo Takeuchi from Japan. I have a workshop to make this around shape by coiling technique. My name is Paul Scott. Welcome to my studio here in Cumbria in the north of England. For the Ceramic Congress, I'm going to give you a talk called Cumbrian Blues Transferware for the 21st Century. Transferware is a genre of printed ceramics that evolved in Staffordshire uh, to try and imitate things like this, Chinese export porcelains. Probably the most famous pattern that you may well have come across is called the Willow Pattern, produced in over 45 countries around the world. But transferware was more than chinoiserie. It also depicted landscapes in the north of England, in Italy, in Europe, and here in America. This is Niagara Falls by Enoch Woodinson's beautiful painterly piece. I take these historic pieces and the genre and I reanimate it for the 21st century. I use collage and kintsugi and I use decals, digitally manipulating images and applying them to historic pieces and blank plates. So, Cumbrian Blues, transferware for the 21st century at the Ceramic Congress. Hello everyone, I am Gustavo Perez from my studio in Soncuantla, Coatepec, Mexico. It has been a pleasure to accept this invitation of the ceramic school to try to show my work to the world in these complex times that we go through. I will be trying to show the technique behind, especially the pieces that are more, the most characteristic of my work, but also many others that have been developed along the years and that you can see here. Uh, I will put an accent in trying to convey what is behind, what goes with the technique in order to achieve creativity. I hope I can get it. Hello everyone, I am Albert Jonathan Steawan and I am here in my home studio in Tokyo, Japan. In this video, I will be speaking about the development of my art practice since around 2012 to the present days. And I will try to address some of the key ideas by showing you some images and short clips that I have gathered in the past few years. I will also try to explain how I have incorporated performance, uh, video and drawings in my ceramic work. So if you can, please join me and I'll, I look forward to seeing you in the question and answer sessions. Thank you. Konnichiwa, Kyoto de Sugei Kato Shite Katsudo Suru, Heki Mio to Mo Shimas. Konkai, Nihon no Dento Gihou de Aru, Wadeta Ochawan wo Shufuku Suru, Kintsugi to Yugi Hou ni Tsuite, O Shokai Stai na to Omotte Olimas. Kintsugi ni wa Takusan no Kote ga Arimashite, Setchaku, Staji, Nuri,
よろしくお願いいたしますสวัสดีครับผมภูเบงภูกเกษมนะครับผมมาจากประเทศไทยนะครับผมมีความยินดีนะครับเป็นอย่างมากนะครับที่ได้เป็นส่วนหนึ่งของเซอร์มิคคอนเจสนะครับตัวผมเองนะครับสร้างสรรค์งานโดยใช้เทคนิคนะครับเซอร์มิกรากโกนะครับในการมาทำคลิปครั้งนี้นะครับผมก็อยากจะมานำเสนอนะครับเกี่ยวกับกระบวนการนะครับขั้นตอนนะครับในการสร้างสรรค์งานเซอร์มิกเทคนิครากุนะครับในรูปแบบและก็สไตล์ของผมนะครับแล้วก็ผมเนี่ยก็อยากจะก็อยากจะเชิญชวนนะครับผู้ที่มีความสนใจนะครับในด้านการทำลากุนะครับให้ได้เข้ามาชมกันเยอะๆนะครับยังไงก็ฝากติดตามนะครับด้วยนะครับผมขอบคุณครับ I am Nick Linker and in this video I'm going to show you how I make these ceramic sculptures using slab construction and ceramic decals um, Probably make something a little bit smaller, like this moth, or I don't know, burger, or something like that. Uh, and then I'll touch on some of my Photoshop work that I use to make the ceramic decals. And then I'll finish one of these larger sculptures, since this process takes kind of a long time uh, to complete. I should be kind of excited to see um, one of these sculptures come to life. So I hope you tune in. Hello, I'm Kenji Ranishi, a Japanese artist living in Brisbane, Australia. I've been working with clay for around 25 years, but for the past 15, I've been working uh, with slab b u i l d porcelain objects. I'm really excited to share my process and the tips and tricks I've picked up over the years with you. In my workshop, I will take you through my process from clay preparation, rolling delicate slabs, to working uh, with slabs to const construct an object. And I will put that into practice to make uh, milk p o u r e r along with a little object like this one. Porcelain can be a bit tricky to work with, so I hope that by sharing my knowledge with you, it will make the process easier. So I hope you can join me. The workshop. こんにちは。はじめまして。私の名前は加藤陽子です。私は日本の東京都に住んでいます。えー、このビデオでは。和紙染めという技法を紹介しますこのような模様をつけていきたいと思います楽しみにしていてください Hello, I'm Keiko Masumoto So here is my solo exhibition And this show all the pieces are blue and white Sometsuke painting My works are like this combination Of motifs and vessels, pots, vases, and plates. In this video, I'll show you the way I make my combination pieces, mainly how to combine motifs and vessels well, and the idea of crazies and painting approaching to. Both motifs and vessels. Hello, my name's Claire Unger. I live in Sydney, Australia, and I'm so excited to be part of the Ceramics Congress. In my workshop, I'm going to be showing how I combine two different art forms hand stitching and ceramics to create what I like to call functional art. I'll be going through my whole process from my design concept through to the finished object. This technique has so many different applications and it's a very good way to integrate both surface and form. So it's going to be fun and informative and I hope that you can join me. Hi everyone, I'm Carol g u t h r o w and I live in Seattle, Washington. I'm looking forward to being one of the presenters for the November 2021 Ceramic Congress. For my presentation, I will discuss how I use the segment mold process that I developed 
to create the pleated forms that you see in these two pieces. I will demonstrate how I build both the body and the flower of a piece like this one, Resupinus. My ceramic vessels and sculptures are inspired by biomorphic forms of all sorts. Seed pods, flowers, gourds, microscopic sea creatures, etc. Color and pattern are very important components in my work. And I'll talk about my inspirations and my approach to surface designs as I demonstrate my building process. Please join me for my workshop in November during the next exciting ceramic conference. Hello, my name is Amy Ray Hill and I'm a ceramic space painter from North Bend, Washington. My workshop will feature glazing techniques and how to create a lunar surface on the surface of a teapot. We will go over different low fire pottery glaze techniques and see what kind of space-tastic results we can come up with. So looking forward to it. Thanks again for checking out Ceramics Congress. Hello, I'm Matthew Blakely from the UK and I'm going to be talking about my approach to ceramics. How I make glazes from rocks and clays that I collect from around the country. Um, I'm going to be demonstrating how I prepare these materials for use and some of the tests that I perform to transform them into glazes. I hope you'll join me. Hi, my name is Kathy King, and I hope you can join me for my workshop, Sgraffito and the Narrative Surface. In this workshop, I'm going to be demonstrating Sgraffito, which is covering a clay body with a slip or an underglaze, and then carving through that top layer to reveal the clay beneath and I'll be talking about the state of the clay that I begin carving at. I'll talk about the tools that I use and the marks that they make. Um, but overall, Sgraffito is much more than a technique to me. And I'll be talking about how I use narrative and storytelling in my own work. Um, my issues tend to revolve around issues of sexuality and gender and love. But whatever it is that um, you're interested in, you can build a vocabulary of images to bring to this technique and to your work, whether it's hand-built or wheel-thrown. Um, I will also uh, talk a little bit about glazing and finishing the work. It's really important to me that when I open up that um, kiln that I can see everything that I've spent hours carving on. So um, we'll touch upon being able to use a great clear to highlight your work and then also the ability to tint a clear glaze so that you can still bring color in without obscuring the images that you created on, on, on the clay itself. So I really hope you'll join me um, and um, I look forward to meeting you. こんにちは、吉村まりです。私は日本の石川県という場所で、九谷焼きの赤江西病という技法を主軸に制作しています。赤江西病とは赤色の絵の具で細く描くと漢字で書くんですけども、その名の通りに極細の筆を用いて、一本一本の細い線の集合体により模様を構成していく技法です。こちらの器も、そのようにして一本一本の細い線の集合体を用いて制作しています私のワークショップではそんな赤い細病のことを中心に整形のことなども含めお話ししていけたらなと思いますよろしくお願いします Hello, this is Ngozi Omeje Ezema I work with suspended clay forms in this video, I'll be showing how I achieved animated three-dimensional drawings using multiple clay units. Breakdown of step-by-step walkthrough on suspended fragments that makes a whole. A composite interface of different techniques, elements of sculpting, beading, painting, textile, and so on, in a symmetric and asymmetric arrangement. How I weave sequences of undulating forms together with strands of woven clay units. It still remains a controlled suspended form that retains its shape no matter how the units dangle, they still come back to make a definite form. And so with relief and full rounded ceramic sculptures alike. 
years of practice have revealed simplified pathways of achieving desired shapes and contours within a given time frame. Hence, utilizing disadvantages in ceramics such as breakages, transportation sizes as a source of inspiration as the configured form talks and breaks. Thank you. Hello, my name is Troy Bungart. As a potter, I consider functionality and aesthetics in my clay work. I use the same consideration when making tools for ceramic artists to use every day. In this workshop, I'm going to share with you how I design and create my line of fine quality wooden pottery tools. I will discuss the woods I use and how I source them, as well as my favorite tool shapes and how well-designed tools help potters create attractive forms. I will demonstrate how I cut out rib shapes using a bandsaw, then finish the tools using a drill press, belt sanders, and flap sanders to further define the shape of the tool and impart a smooth surface that makes the rib comfortable to hold and a joy to use. Join me for this workshop to learn how you can make fine quality tools for use in your studio. Hi, I'm Deborah Brose in Los Angeles, California, and I'm excited to be a part of this year's Ceramics Congress. My workshop, Making Hybrid Animals, will cover using secondhand pre-existing figurines and ceramics restoration techniques to make seamless creations. The workshop will cover how to cut fired ceramic, which materials to use to fill in the gaps, and how to match color and finish to make sure that you have a seamlessly blended creation. I hope you can join me. Hello, I'm Jiang Yanzhe from Nanjing, China. I'm very happy to attend this Ceramic Congress. In my presentation, I will talk about my early studio practice and cooperation with some ceramic factories. How I got inspiration from factory environment, how I developed my ideas. I will mainly talk about my recent work, which were made from factory wastes, honeycomb ceramics. So, please join me. Welcome to my studio. My name is Chai Chilean. I'm ceramicist and a mold maker. I like to show you how to create a stack mold. Stack mold is a mold that from the piece of the plaster able to on top each other and and create the mold so you can do zip cut quite simple and easy to make and this is the simple of the work that form a stack mold and hope you enjoy my workshop and see you soon Hi, my name is Jonathan Keep, and I'm here in my, I call my clean studio uh, in Suffolk in the UK. And uh, it's a great pleasure to be asked by Ceramic um, School to do a presentation about my work. Uh, so the intention is to, you know, I work in 3D printing is uh, to say why I do um, and then um, go through kind of the techniques I use, talking about the clay, the machines, um, and um, hopefully kind of really informative chat, right? Thanks a lot. See you later. Bye. Hi, my name is Kadron Izan. I'm working with handmade porcelain tableware with mark making glazing. And in the workshop, I'll be showing you some of the techniques that I use to produce my tableware that includes the forming technique on bisque wear uh, mold and also the glazing technique. So check it out. Hi, I'm Tetsuya Tanaka, a ceramic artist in Japan. I'm making writing sculpture like this. 
Uh, I'm using Shigaraki translucent clay. Uh, this clay is advanced material that's developed in 2009 at Shigaraki Ceramic Research Center. Uh, I will uh, introduce my works in this video and I will show you my original technique that's a uh, slab building on the paper mold. See you. Hello, welcome to my studio. My name is Cecile Kemperink and I am an artist from the Netherlands. In this video, I show you my clay journey from once being a potter at the wheel to now making interactive ceramic sculptures, which I perform with. In part two, we use clay and please join me in making rollers and circles and let's practice a little bit time and patience. At the end of the video, I'll show you one of my latest sculptures. I hope you join me. Bye. Ceramics Congress in Sanka no Mina San Kunjua. Nihon no Toriaka Hashimoto Shinobu des. Konkai Boku ga okona u workshop dewa, Boku no Sesak Sur, Donabe no Tsukuri Kata, Sore in Taisur Kaisesu, Soshite Boku no Utsua Zukuri ni Taisur Kangai Kata des. Dono yona koto o kiyosukete, dono yona omoe de utsua o tsukutte mina san no te ni o tozuki shite ka. So ita hana shi o shite ikeleba ii ka na to omotte oimasu. Zehi ご参加ください。Hi everyone, my name is Monica and I am a Japanese tea advisor. And in this video, I would like to introduce you to Japanese teas and several fun, easy ways to brew them. There are many types of Japanese teas that are available in the market. So firstly, I'll talk about that. And then I'll briefly discuss about how earthen um, teapots and teawares can potentially enhance the taste of the tea and then after that i'll introduce you to several different ways to brew japanese teas including hot brew cold brew ice brew and soda brews and after that i'll also share some of my favorite japanese tea mocktail recipes so that you can try them at home so hope you enjoy that Hola, ¿cómo están? Mi nombre es Luciano Polverichiani y voy a estar participando en el próximo Congreso de Cerámica. Desde hace un tiempo estoy trabajando una serie con una misma idea, con un mismo concepto y tiene que ver con eh, pensar a la cerámica como un juguete. Eh, me interesa esta tensión que se genera entre un material eh, aparentemente frágil y un juguete un juguete de cerámica. Eh, entonces voy a estar modelando una pieza de este estilo, eh, partiendo desde la idea, desde el boceto, el dibujo, para luego volcarlo al modelado y la aplicación del color a través de Erengobe. Bueno, los espero y muchísimas gracias. Hi, my name is Elnaz Iran Park, a ceramist based in Iran, and in this video I want to show you how to decorate a ceramic using underglaze technique. Join me! Hello, my name is Hernan Vargas and I'm very happy to participate in this congress and I want to share my project Sunabarro. In this project I experiment and build different kind of uh, clay instruments and experiment with the sound of the clay. Uh, 
and in this workshop we make uh, drums, uh, drums instruments in clay. And I see you there. Hello everyone. I would like to introduce Mr. Arun Pal. Arun Pal is a traditional potter from village Lakshmikantpur, uh, which is in state West Bengal, India. And Pal is a very common surname in this state. And in Arun's family, his father, his grandfather, both were also a potter. And they used to make mainly like local clay cups and uh, pots for curd and different sweets. Currently, he works with West Bengal Craft Council. And he has also won few awards for this craft, Terracotta. Hi there, my name is James Ault. I'm a wildlife artist based here in the UK and I'm really excited to be taking part in the Ceramics Congress this year. I work in a range of mediums normally, but clay is definitely my main love. So it's an honour to be invited along to this fabulous event. Now on my demo, I'm going to be talking about how I make my clay animals and I'm going to be demonstrating how to make uh, animals using a simple newspaper armature. Onto this, the clay is added and the clay is cut to reflect the key uh, muscle groups, anatomy and form of the chosen subject. The technique is really fun to do. It kind of breaks a lot of the more traditional ceramic rules and is also very spontaneous so the pieces never look overworked. Um, I hope this can entice you to come along to this fabulous event and thanks for watching. I'll see you in November. Hello and welcome. My name is Jesse McGlenn. I was born in the United States. And I'm Julie Progen. I was born and raised in Hong Kong, but I'm from Switzerland. We're best known as Julie and Jesse. We're based here in Hong Kong. Before the pandemic, we also had a studio in Jingdezhen, China. For this edition of the Ceramic Congress, we'll be discussing our practice, share on how we adopt a unique approach to each of our projects, drawing from resources we have available at hand and from its historical and cultural context. We'll also be examining a few of our projects to illustrate how we respond to situations to make work that explores time and place. Lastly, to exemplify our methodology, we will walk you through all the steps of making our work pocket garden, from ideation to making a finished piece with tips and tricks along the way, including our Lego hack to make our pieces interactive. We look forward to meeting you and answering all of your questions at the Q&A session later on. In the meantime, take care and bye for now. Thank you. Hi everybody, my name is Michal Fargren. I'm an artist based in Berlin, Germany. And I would like to invite you to my workshop and talk uh, during the Ceramic Congress. Um, in this talk, I will be discussing my uh, current project and also some past work. I will be going through my conceptual thinking process, uh, sketching, building the piece by coiling, um, also how I dry and fire my pieces, as well as flocking them and plenty of other stuff. You are most welcome to join me, and I hope to see you there. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name's Pip Drysdale, or Pippin Drysdale, and I have been working as a ceramic artist for over 40 years, and I've had the most amazing career and wonderful opportunities, and I have such a passion and love for my ceramics. Now I'm trying to put my voice to my practice and my process. So I hope you enjoy it. Hello, um, my name is William Cobbing. I'm an artist living and working in London. Um, and I thought I'd start off the talk um, with an image of a uh, video work I did um, a long time ago, back in 2004. Hello, my name is Trevor Foster and I'm a ceramic artist originally from Seattle. Uh, I've been working in the medium for the last 12 years and the last 10 I've been selling online. So today for the ceramic school, I'm gonna talk a little bit about my experience uh, selling online. Um, hopefully you can learn from my mistakes and uh, take something from the things that I've, I've learned along the way.
I know that. 